what is happening everyone as everyone can see and tell uh, that Iran is sending their little proxies to start this war with Israel and uh, let us all pray for them as we are all paying attention to see what's going on and just keeping an eye on our walk with God as Christians you know everything that we see that's happening the birth pain all of us sort of draw near, be closer to God, look where we, to take a look in ourselves where we are, let go of any grudges or and anything that we held on to, show forgiveness as we press on in this time that we're living in. But with all this, you know, let's take a look what's going on around the world by the religion of peace in Canada. Hamas supporters drop talk of ceasefire celebrating Iran's attack on Israel. What does that show you guys? It shows you that they're just hypocrites. They like to call the ceasefire when nothing goes on their way. But all of a sudden Iran comes along. Oh yes, we will stand by our side with our fellow Muslims. Because you know, the Quran says so I'm commanded to fight alongside. Now we could talk smack. Yay, attack them. After these guys started at first. Kidnapping. Doing the most demonic attack. Showing their racism against the Jews. As the Quran commands. The Hadith commands. Yes, the hour will not come. Until the Muslims fight the Jews. As it says in Sahih Bukhari. And also as it says in Surah 929. Uh, fight the Christians and Jews. Unalive them wherever they are until they pay the jizya or submit the will of God. You know, jizya is a form of a, like a mafia style tax money. If you want to be protected, you can, st you can stay with your religion, but you're not allowed to preach it. This is their way of any way to genocide the religion, to exterminate the religion and Islamicize. So this is why the West, and, and when I mean the West, the liberals need to wake up. Matter of fact, even some of the conservatives, some of them that's not well aware with the scripture, they need to just not fall for these lies, not get caught up with it, just only politics only, but you need to pay attention to the ideology. So let's see what's going on. So a little video from X. Hamas supporters in Canada are celebrating the news. So let's take a look. Republic of Iran has just sent tens of drugs towards Israel. And these bastards want to live here, right? That kind of stuff pisses me off. You come to this country and that's how you truly feel. Yeah, thanks for the nice tax money and robbing the taxpayers' money to get what we want. How, now, how would that feel if the Christians did that in the Muslim country? Oh, that they won't go well, right? Freedom of expression, right? Yeah, you have the freedom, but you know what? People are seeing who you represent. So go ahead, keep making yourself look bad. And to all those that, that's falling for these lies and start hitting on Israel, like, like it, it's a damn shame, you know, even from some Christians, you know? When you see the map of the Middle East, what they have gone through, these are not real Israelis today, etc., etc. It doesn't matter. The Bible says all four corners of the earth, God will bring back the Jews back home. It doesn't matter what, what color it is. Even saying for some of the, uh, the what would we say, the Jews from Ethiopia, I believe it is there some. You know, we know that Solomon married someone from there. It doesn't matter. Those prophecy has been fulfilled in 1948. But it's a damn shame, the hypocrites, you see. So that's why don't fall for the lies for, for this ceasefire. You see, whenever they get, they're losing, this is how they play the game. Because in their mindset, oh, oh, we can't lose. We're the most dominant one. We're better than everyone else. This should be an example 
that every Western nation should see. Matter of fact, let the whole world see Africa, Asia. Especially there are some countries like South Korea or Japan or any place else where they have Islamists immigrating there. They need to pay attention. They need to pay attention to their book. One of the most hateful books I ever came across. No wonder they force you to read it in Arabic. For those that's like non-Arab speakers, they lie on the translation. Yes, even to those Muslims living in the West grew up there. The translation you're reading, they lied so they could cover up. But there are those, thank God that God raised up, that knows the language, that gives you the, the real translation. What else it says? Let's take a look. Oh, that's pretty much it. So, they don't want peace. They want the victory of the first jihad. Yeah, that's what comes to They were taught to lie. Do taqiyah, whatever it takes to get what they want. This is an example, guys. You see all of a sudden, oh, yeah, they attacked them. Yeah, Allah, what more? Yeah, celebrate for now. You think that you think that they're going to win? Allah couldn't do nothing for Gaza? And you guys still follow this religion. You're not bringing anything to people to come to Islam, but out of desperate attempt. Shame on you guys. Shame on you. Like and share. Use this as an example, guys. You see how they celebrated it in a Western country calling this? All you Western leaders not doing your job? You better start kicking people out that don't deserve it. Let's see, let's see how much they love Sharia. Put them in the most harshest Sharia-based country like Afghanistan. Let's see how much they enjoy. God bless you all. I'll talk to you soon.